Okay, this app is called Naming Therapy, and uh, this is put together by uh, developer Tactus Therapy, and they have a bunch of other apps. Um, if we open up the information screen here, it'll tell you about the app. This app is designed for people with impaired word finding abilities due to stroke, brain injury, aging, autism, or developmental delay. It can also be used for students learning a new language. As you scroll through, it'll give you instruction on how to use it. Uh, you can turn a child-friendly mode on. When you do this, it removes any reference to alcohol or violence from the app. So it's always good to keep in mind, uh, you know, basically understanding that this can be used for the uh, older um, adults as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. If we go into settings over here, we'll see that we've got a different number of tries, 10, 25, 50, 100, or everything that's on the app. And there are a lot of things on this app. It's very nice. Uh, we're going to leave it at 10. We're not going to enter an email right now. We'll leave child-friendly mode. Uh, you know what? Let's put that on for this demonstration, uh, just in case of the people watching. So let's start off with naming practice. And you get a choice of uh, all of these different categories, animals, body parts, clothing, concepts, food, furnishings, objects, people, places, sports, and how many are in each one. We'll leave them all on simply for the demonstration. You can deselect all of them if you want and select any that you like. So how this works is you, the idea is to talk about what this is. Um, I would imagine this is a picture of lungs. So if I get it right, you'd press the tick mark. If you get it wrong, you would uh, press the, uh, the wrong, like so. If you get, want clues to complete it, you simply press these images on the bottom. The organ in the chest for breathing. And then you would have that conversation with the student or the child or the adult and see if they could name what that is. If they wanted some more help, it brings up a word list at the top and it starts with the letter L again. You could continue grading. And then finally on, on part three of this, it'll tell you what it is in writing. Breathe air into your... If you want to uh, do it a different way, you can ask them um, to complete the sentence, which is what that was. La you can give them a clue. La lungs. And you can finally complete the word for them. So all different ways to look at it. You don't have to start on the first one, and I'll show you here. So for example, wind a watch to tighten the wind a watch to tighten the spr spring. Okay, so you can do it differently. You don't have to start from the top and, and work on the letters. You can also just do the first three. A breakfast food served with milk. You could just do the first one if they were to get that right. As you get them right, you go through and you complete. It gives you um, a description of what you got wrong. You can email the results or what you got right and so on. And then you can uh, keep track of how well you did. So going back out, that's naming practice. Let's look at the naming test. And the idea here is to have an image. And again, you can change uh, the images, but look at the image and then say what it is. So you've got 30 images to get right. And we'll say this is a book. This is a house. This is a uh, glass of water and so on. And you would basically go through your images. I'm just going through this quickly to show you uh, how many you get right and how many you get wrong. And the images are very nice. They're all photographs and they're very nicely put together. So we get the last one right. 19 out of 30, we got 63% correct. You can email the results like this and it'll tell you which ones you got right in animals, body parts, clothing, food, furnishings, objects, people, places, and sports. Now, obviously you can concentrate on one category. So you could work, you could concentrate just on animals. Um, so describe. So for example, let's show you uh, uh, how that works. Deselect all and let's just put it on animals. So every picture is going to be about an animal. Um, Wolf. When you touch it, it'll tell you what it is. And then you want to touch these other boxes around the outside to work on the exercise. What type of thing is it? How big is it? What sound does it make? What does it look like? Where does it live? Okay, so you can basically uh, engage in a complete conversation either with a student or with an adult. Um, doing this and you continue through this there's 10 to get through what type of thing is it how big is it and so on and it keeps going like that uh, one other very cool thing about this app is that you can um, create your own flashcards 
So if we select all of these here, uh, if we go down to the bottom, you'll notice I created one called test. So these are simply just to test you on uh, photographs. So if we click on just colors, for example, I'll show you how to add and change this in a second. Green. Uh, you can have them uh, touch it to hear it, or you can just simply talk about it and then move on to the next one. And this will go through all of the colors. Uh, Black. Or whatever the category it is that you've settled on. Now, if we go back, sorry, if we go back to here, you can add your own flashcard. And it's as simple as clicking on here, add a new category. You'll name the category up here. We'll call this test number two. Add a new item. And let's just say Cam for Cameron. Cameron. Record it. Choose a photograph. We'll go in here. Choose a picture of Cameron in the garden and done and then he will be added to that so when you go back into your categories here if we deselect this one now and we go down and look at test 2 and highlight that you'll see that Cameron is the Cameron is the picture that we're going to talk about so it's a great app it does it does a lot um, and the great thing about it is it, it keeps track of the scores and um, it's, really worth a, it's really worth a look. And I hope to uh, be doing more of the reviews on their other apps very soon. So have a look. Naming Therapy by Tactus Therapy.